So you had your surgery, you got placed on the long-acting octreotide, and, and then what happened? <laughs> well, um, this was before lanreotide came out, and they were giving me octreotide every 28 days, and the symptoms got closer together, uh, not closer together, but, but worse, mm -hmm. the diarrhea especially, flushing some. So they put me every 14 days still receiving the octreotide. And that did well for a while. I did the short acting shots mm -hmm. and I had heard about lanreotide. So I was looking forward to that. And that's what I'm on right now. And I'm doing quite well. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. So you got started on octreotide long acting or right. sandostatin. Right. Um, and they talked to you a little bit about how this works and how this binds to the somatostatin receptors on your tumor and helps not only some of the symptoms that are associated with this, but also what we believe helps control the tumor growth. Right. So that's awesome. So at the time, at the time you got started on in the United States, we only had one available, which was sandostatin. So, um, and that you describe this as a as the butt dart, um, right? And it and it is a, a a big needle, and it's a big needle because it needs to go into the muscle. So, um, years later, when they switched you over to lanreotide, these two agents seem to work very similarly. So, and then when when things started to progress, Dr. Waltering had suggested switching you over to lanreotide. Right. Now tell me, tell me about what you had heard about lanreotide and, and what was your experience after your first injection and what sort of, you know, what, what are the differences from a patient perspective? I didn't have um, the beanbag effect, <laughs> maybe because of, I don't know if that comes over time or maybe it was the different injection for whatever reason, I don't know but um, that was easier, and the symptoms have even gotten better um, using lanreotide than with the sandostatin for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I was waiting for it to be FDA approved because I had heard about it, and I stay on top. I try to, you know, um, just stay educated. And that, that means everything, that's vital. Absolutely. The trials tell us that it, that lanreotide is also very effective in helping control the tumor progression as well as, as, well as control the symptoms. Um, now the two haven't been compared head to head, so, so is one better than the other? We, we don't know. Um, uh, but certainly the, the side effects tend to be very similar the needle you described, you didn't get that, you didn't get the beanbag effect. Right. Uh, well, it's because the needle seems to be a little bit smaller, uh, but also it doesn't need to go all the way into the muscle. This goes into the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, right. So it can go into the muscle uh, mm. if, if, uh, if need be, so, um, but, uh, but it doesn't have to. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and at some point along, along your journey, Dr. Waltering and Dr. Boudreau said, we think you should try some pancreatic enzymes. Uh-huh. Okay. What, what, uh, what was going on at the time? And tell me what, uh, what happened after you started on these. Okay. Ooh, what was happening was a lot of diarrhea. As Dr. Waltering mentioned to me, it smells like dead moose. It runs everyone out of the house. <laughs> Ew, don't come, don't come around. But, you know, um, it helps tremendously. Initially, I took Zenpep, and I had to take uh, four pills at a time with my meals because he's, I wasn't digesting fats, and it was run every day, all day, looking for a bathroom. So once I got the Zenpep, it helped tremendously. I carry them everywhere I go, go out to eat. I have them. I'm at home. I have them. They sit on my table. They're there, you know, and um, I don't eat anything without them. Maybe bread, that's my, not many things. But um, after Zenpep, 
I went to um, the one I take now, which is Creon. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a lot better. Instead of taking four capsules for every meal, I only take two. So I take a lot of other medications too, you know, um, for lupus, fibromyalgia, and things too. So less pills is better for me. <laughs> and how important do you think your diet is in, in some of your symptom control? It is important. Um, I have noticed um, that they help a lot with the fats, but I'm starting to notice now that if I eat a little more than maybe I did before, which is probably too much, but that's okay. Um, the amount of food uh, is starting to make a difference again. And I, I eat more small meals. And the pancreatic enzymes still help me that way, even, even doing that. We monitor for this disease to to come back, and if it does, we've, we've got a plan for you. I know y'all do. <laughs> I know you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know that y'all take good care of me, you have so far, and you will keep doing the same. <laughs> and I look forward to coming in there every time, because I know I'm in the right place. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. You're welcome. Thank you.